Welcome back to Crochet by Landry, everybody. In this video, we're gonna talk about five things that made my life easier, plus two bonus items that I feel made my life easier when it comes to crochet and kept me a little bit more organized. So let's get started talking about those items and I'll put all the links for everything I'm talking about in the description box down below so you can go and check them out for yourself if you're thinking about upgrading your crochet uh, items. So let's get started. <music> start talking about the first item on the list of how crochet items have made my life a little bit easier when I'm making certain projects or even larger projects. So one thing you may want to get is a bowl like I have right here. Something to put your yarn ball or it in so you can control where your ball is going instead of just dropping it on the floor or whatever. I bought this bowl on Amazon. I'll put a link for everything I'm talking about in the video today. I'll put a links in the description box down below if you want to check them out for yourself. I bought this bowl on Amazon. It was a relatively inexpensive, maybe about no more than $25, $30. And it controls my yarn ball quite well. It's got the, all the holes on the sides to keep the yarn in place when you're working on certain projects. And it's pretty too. And it looks nice as a decoration when you're not using it. So if you want to get one of these, like I said, I bought mine on Amazon. It does come in handy when you're making projects and knowing where your yarn is and all that stuff. So that's one thing you could talk, you could, you could purchase. You, you can also use is um, just a regular bowl or a basket um, that you have around your house as well. You don't have to purchase fancy bowls to, um, to control your yarn ball. You can use just a plastic basket from the dollar store, anything really around your house would work. So that's one item for crochet to make life easier. Item number two on our list is getting a good pair, good set of scissors to cut your yarn with. Um, now these ones, again, I bought them on Amazon. They were relatively inexpensive, no more than $10 for the set. They are just little steel scissors, not very fancy. Um, you can also use sewing scissors, um, kitchen scissors, any scissors really. Um, but I bought some fancy ones because yarn's addicting, so be careful people. But a good pair of scissors to cut your yarn is essential when you're cro doing crochet or knitting or whatever projects you want to do. Also, I got my hands on was some stitch markers to keep track of my rows that I was doing either in your blankets or your stuffed animals that you're making. So a good set of stitch markers to keep track of the rows you're working on is a, is an important piece of learning to do crochet. So I picked up some of these, they're little clips and they're, they come in like a pack also on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down below. And I also got these ones. They're little, they look like, uh, they look like paper clips sort of. But they're quite, they're quite fun. And again, you get them in a little set, a bunch of different colors and they lock into place so you don't lose your place for your stitch marker so it won't fall out. You can also use safety pins. You can also use paper clips, um, stuff like that around your house in case you can't afford to buy uh, proper tools. You can, you can use anything that you want that you can lock into place where your stitches are so you don't lose your spot. Item number three on our list, and this is something you may want to invest in down the road if you really get hooked on crochet. You may want to invest in something that looks like this. Now this is a ball winder um, to wind up your leftovers of your yarn that you have when you're finished a project and you're not going to use that yarn for a little bit because you're going to work on something else. And it locks into place with the little bracket it comes with. You can lock it onto your table if you want. Lock it into place just by putting it on your table and turning the key around so it stays in place and then you just start cranking cranking the, uh, the handle. I bought mine at Michael's and I can't remember how much it was because it was a long time ago, but it, it works really well. It yarn winds the ball perfectly and then I put it away for when I'm ready to use it. So you may want to invest in a ball winder at some point down the road just to control all those extra 
floppy balls of yarn that you're not using right away. Item number four on our list is a good set of crochet hooks. Now you can use the wood crochet hooks, you can use the steel ones, you can use plastic. Only problem with using uh, plastic in particular is they tend to snap on you if your tension is too tight or if you're pulling too hard. They tend to snap. Um, I got invested in these ergonomic hooks. They have the rubber handle and the steel hook on the end. These work really well and they're also very comfortable, especially if you have arthritis in your hands. Um, they're really comfortable. I feel that I can go longer when I'm crocheting because of this hook and that I don't have to take as many breaks. You do want to take breaks when you're crocheting. You also want to stretch out your hands and your arms if you're getting tight and sitting into position too long. But these ergonomic hooks are really great and they have two different kinds um, and they work really well. And again, they're very comfortable. And the last item on our list, number five, is something to carry your crochet hooks in. Um, I purchased this again on Amazon and it's got the pouches to hold all your stuff, places to put all your crochet hooks, and little extra slots for extra things that you may want to use. Um, and it works really well. You can also use things like a pencil case, um, makeup case, uh, anything with a zipper on it to keep things in place. So you may want to invest in something like that or see if you have something around your house that you that you have lying around that, you, that you're not using and then you can use for your crochet stuff um, because it'll work and it'll keep all your stuff organized and that way you know where everything is when you go to make your next project. I have a bonus item for you or two bonus items. One bonus item is getting a good bag to carry your projects in when you're working on crochet items or you're taking it with you somewhere. Getting a good bag to put things in, put your yarn, your crochet hooks, your if you have patterns, put those in there too. This bag, I got it off Amazon. It's, it's very sturdy and it's got the pouch in the front so you can put all your hooks in here if you want. And it flops down and you've got the little pouches. It even has a spot for knitting needles if you knit. And it's got the spot for your clips and your needle and your yarn needles as well. And it's got the big spot on the center for all of your yarn and whatever you're using for your project. And it's even got this spot in the back to put um, your books or your papers or your notebooks if you're keeping track of things. Getting a good bag is also essential for crochet. Now again, you can use anything around your house. You can use a backpack, um, a big purse, anything you really can find around your house if you don't have a lot of money to spend on crochet things. Because crochet, let's hand it people, it's expensive. And another bonus item that I wanted to mention was getting a good yarn and getting a yarn that you really love using. Now, my favorite, one of my favorite brands of yarn is Burnett Premium. I find this at Walmart because it's relatively inexpensive and you get a lot for what you're paying for. Um, this ball of yarn is 360 yards or seven ounces and 198 grams. And it goes a long way when you're making something and it's very soft, it's acrylic, and it's a size four medium yarn. And it's pretty standard to use, especially when you're starting and it's very easy to use at the beginning when I was learning how to start doing crochet. And there we have it everybody. We talked about the top five items plus two bonus items that I used to make my life easier for crochet last year. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next week for more crochet videos. And don't forget, we're working on our calendar blanket. So stay tuned for the first week of February for that next part. See you next week, everybody.